the MicroPython UC types on a Raspberry Pi Pico. I did not see a, uh, a lot of tutorial on UC types, so I decided to make one for myself. Uh, first thing we have to do, we'll do is we'll look at the documentation of the UC types on MicroPython website. So we go to the documentation, then we click MicroPython libraries, then we click MicroPython specific libraries, and there we will find UC types. And it says access binary data in a structured way. If we scroll down, we'll find that one of the example, example number three, is access to CPU register. And we'll do that on a Raspberry Pi Pico. And it shows how to do it, having a bit field and also the position of the bits and the length of the bits and the width. The uh, this will, uh, example is on bit field T, it's zero position and there's seven bits on that field and the width of the entire register is 32 and if you add 0 plus 7 is 7 so the next bit field is WGA is 7 so starts at position 7 and in this case WDGA is only one bit the length is only one bit. Again, uh, we ordered it with a uh, uh, bit field uh, unsigned in 32, which is the the length of the register. We look at we look now at the Pico datasheet. The da datasheet starts at 2.19 section, so we go to 2.19. And there uh, we. Uh, we'll find that GPI or the actual pins can be used multi uh, for multiple uh, uh, actions. It could be PIO, single cycle IO, SPI, UART, I2C, PWM. So depending on what you want to do uh, in your project, you can uh, the PIO or uh, SIO are multiple use. So we're interested on the SIO section single cycle IO we look at the registers and again as a reminder the uh, the GPIO 25 is connected to the onboard LED so and if we look at GPIO 25 control we can see it's an uh, offset CC the address is offset CC. If we click it, we'll see that there's 32 bits in this register. 0 to 4 bits, funk cell is the name of this bit field. It's a read and write. Uh, so there's actually five bits there, zero, one, two, three, four, or five. It's a read and write, and the default value on power up is hex 1f. Okay. So the next bit field is reserved three bits, five, six, and seven. The next bit field is out over 2 bits 8 and 9 we're interested in the hex 2 drive output low and hex 3 drive output high next bit field is reserve 2 bits 10 and 11 next bit field is OE over bits 12 and 13 we're interested in the hex 3 which is enable output okay So again, if we look back on the example, 
we will uh, try to copy the layout and basically the bit field the starting and the length and we're ready to code our uh, our layout is GPIO 25 CTRL layout I named it uh, you can name it anything you want and remember that GPIO 25 is connected to the onboard LED we're using this so we can see the result with our eyes So looking at the register, our first bit field uh, uh, is funk cell. It's right here. So I'll name it uh, the same as the register on the data sheet, funk cell. And there's starts at zero position, bit field position. And the length of the bit field is five, is zero, one, two, three, four. And the width of the entire register is 32. Okay, uh, you see 31 there because index 0, but the actual register is 32 bits if it starts at 1. So, so the next, uh, so that's our first bit field. If you add 0 and 5, you get 5, and that should be your next bit field starting position. It's reserved, so I named this RES1, and starts at 5 bit field position and the length is 3 and then the next bit field is out over 2 bits 8 and 9 if you add 5 and 3 you get 8 and that's where we start position and the length is 2 next field is reserve 2 bits if you add 8 and 2, you get 10. And uh, so the position is 10, and the length is 2, which is bits 10 and 11. The next field is OE over. And if you add 10 and 2, it's 12. So that's where we start the position. And there's two bits, 12 and 13. So the length is 2 and 32 bit wide basically that's our layout and now we're ready for our variable and the function call is uh, uc type struct which address and the layout and that should return to our variable uh, gpio25 underscore ctrl okay so we're gonna find out what our address is so if you go to the list of registers, the u user bank I.O. starts up hex 4001-4000. This is the starting uh, uh, base of the GPIO. So we'll, for now, we'll just put 00, zero there. That's the starting. Okay, but we're not done yet. We have to scroll to GPIO 25 control so to find the offset of this register from the base so control we find out it's a hex cc offset so we just backspace the uh, address there and put cc and that should put us to a gpio 25 control uh, address The next one is so we go back again to GPIO 25. Let's look at what we need to do. So the next one is the func cell, the function of this register. So we need to select the uh, single I.O. function again because there's multiple uh, functions for this uh, uh, pins it could be UART, I2C, PWM so the func cell is hexadecimal 5 and we'll find out where, where I got that number
So if we look at function select, again, you can see that you could assign the pin a multitude of function. But if you look at F1, it's SPIO, SPI0, F5 is SIO, F3 is I2C0. So we go down to this column F5 and we look at pin 25 and still SIO for the fifth. So one, two, three, four, five is SIO and that's where the five comes from. We're not using it for PWM or I2C or UART but SIO. So now we're ready for the OE over uh, OE over uh, bit field. And basically what we need to put here is hex 3. So hex 3 we look up is uh, enable output. So and that's what we, we're going to do. It's a read and write and the default value on power on is uh, hex zero. So, so now we choose SIO and we put the drive output high. And now we go to our loop. Uh, the bit field out over is hex two and according to the data sheet is drive output low. So this should turn on or off the LED depending on how it's wired. I have not looked at the schematic, but we sleep for 500 milliseconds and then we drive the output high based on the data sheet here, output high, and this should toggle the LED depending on how it's wired. So first it's been driven low, 500 milliseconds, and driven high. 500 milliseconds. So this this concludes my uh, UC types demo. I think the beneficial to the UC types is if you find some things are not implemented in MicroPython but it's in the C language, you can use the uh, UC, UC types to mimic that C program because now you have access to the register easily and in a less confusing way. So hopefully this this uh, video help you and I'll show the result of the it's just a blinking LED uh, thank you for your time bye